back to another haul. Today we are hauling from Chemist Warehouse. So here we go. I've got the recipe here. This is just a tiny little haul. Very necessary though. Okay. <clears throat> it's mainly just Actually, there's only a few things on here. One, two, three, four, five. There's only five things on here. But this is a very necessary haul. So the first thing uh, that we've got here are the Aptimal Gold Pro Formula. So Cooper is on formula. He's still on formula. He is 10 months old at the moment. And we usually use the can. Uh, but when we're out and about, rather than taking his formula in a little you know, container or something like that. We just conveniently use this. So, oh my gosh, you can totally see the ring light reflection. There we go, maybe that's a bit better. Maybe that's a bit better. I don't know. So there are four single use sachets in each of these boxes. And we got two boxes and there were $3.99 each, which is not bad. Um, I'll put on the screen how much that works out to per serving. Um, but we only take them out when, when we're out and about, we take these with us. So two boxes of those, two boxes, $3.99 each, really worth it. I mean, yes, we could totally put the formula in, you know, a little container or something like that, um, but we don't, so this is what we use. Next, let's consult the recipe. Fructus hair treatment. Fructus hair treatment. This little guy here. It's the Fructus Glossy Pineapple Hair Food. It says less split ends. And it, oh, I just got a whiff of that. It's not even open. Um, $6.99. I believe it was on special. So it's the Garnier Fructus Glossy Pineapple Hair Food for less split ends. It's a three-in-one treatment for long, dull hair. My hair is definitely not long, long, but it is dull. Uh, you all know that I get my hair chemically treated. And as a matter of fact, I don't even want to call it chemically treated. It's chemically abused. That's what it is. Um, and I'm not ashamed in saying that. I've got grey hair. Lots of women do over the age of 30, and I'm definitely over the age of 30. Uh, I like to try and do everything I can to keep my hair from not breaking. So this is, I've used it before, uh, it smells amazing. Um, so I'll give you a close up of that. Yep, and we open it up and it's, oh look at that, that is delicious. Oh, it smells so good. I have a shower straight before I go to bed of an evening. And I go to bed with wet hair. And I know old wives tales will tell you that if you go to bed with wet hair, you're going to wake up blind. Well, guess what? I've been doing it for like 20 years. And yes, I need glasses, but I'm not blind. Anyway, so this, it says here it's a three-in-one treatment, which I can attest to. So basically, you can just use it as a normal conditioner. You can use it as um, a treatment, so leave it on all the way through your shower and wash it out, or you can use a tiny little bit um, in once you've finished your shower and rinsed your hair, you can use a tiny little bit as a leave-in conditioner. Um, I've done all three, and I can attest to the fact that it totally works. Uh, it also says, 97% uh, natural origin, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. So, and as I said, it smells absolutely amazing. Oh, that's what I was saying. So I have a shower straight before bed, and when I wake up in the morning, my pillow smells like pineapple. Beautiful. So I can totally attest to that. Not sponsored, by the way. I paid for all this stuff. The next thing is the Schwarzkopf. Uh, extra balance leave-in conditioner 10.99 this is an essential for me again we're talking about damaged chemically abused hair um, my hair 
no matter how much I condition it in the shower in the evening, when I wake up in the morning, it looks like fairy floss or steel wool or cotton wool or it's just horribly frizzy, dry as a bone. So what I do is I use this. It's the Normal Balance uh, Nourishing Express Repair Leave-In Conditioner. It's just in a pump spray. It's really good. I've got it in my hair right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, it just smooths everything down and makes everything look less crunchy. Uh, it's totally worth it. $10.99. I go through about a bowl of this maybe every two, three weeks. You don't have to use a lot. If you use too much, your hair will look greasy. You'll look like you haven't washed your hair in a week. And it's not a good look. It, it, it dries, but it looks like a wet look. And it's too much. So, And I've done that before. That's trial and error on that one. Use it sparingly. Makes your hair look great, even though you abuse the shit out of it with chemicals. Next! I've got to put my glasses on. The last thing on the recipe is again another hair product. It's Garnier Fructus Watermelon this time. So, watermelon, oh, it's for volumizing. I've not used this one yet. Um, it's sort of in the same category as the pineapple one that I just looked at. Um, this, but I've not used it. So it's volumizing watermelon hair food. Use it three ways for finer hair. My hair is fine. I have very fine hair. I think it's genetic because mum's got fine hair too. And that's just the way it is, baby. But I definitely need volumizing in my life. And uh, again, it is 97% natural origin. Can you have a look at that guy? I've not smelt this one yet, but... I can already tell that it's going to smell amazing, just like the pineapple one does. So let's have a whiff. Ooh. It smells like what watermelon is supposed to smell like if it's natural, if that makes sense. It doesn't smell overly artificially sweet or anything. It just smells like watermelon. It's the same consistency as the other one. Sort of like a lotion-y hand cream consistency. I'm really looking forward to using this one. As a matter of fact, I might start using this one before I use the pineapple one. Oh, I just dropped that. We're still on, thank goodness. So that's it. And that was $6.99. Did I say that? All together, we paid $32.95. And it says here that... I saved $15. That's what the recipe says. And you know what? I can't I can't go against, against what the recipe says. Recipe don't tell no lies. So that's it. Mini tiny little chemist warehouse haul. Some baby stuff, mostly hair stuff. So that was my mini haul from Chemist Warehouse. Welcome back to another haul. You all know I love Bond's Wonder Suits. And a lot of places, a lot of retailers in Australia sell them. We've got one of our biggest uh, supermarket chains, Woolworths. Also Coles. Bess and Less. Big W. I don't think Kmart sell them, but I think Target does. Could be wrong. Guess who else sells them now? Aldi. Yeah, Aldi. So, Mum told me of a special that Aldi were doing on Bond's Wonder Suits for $13.99. That's one three point nine nine. Now, I've paid $26 in the past for a Wonder Suit. They are usually $26 and $13.99 is an excellent deal. What is the percentage on that? I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen because I'm rubbish at maths. But it's an awesome deal. So I live in a small-ish town, but we do have two Aldis. I didn't even bother to go to the one in the center of town because that's a smaller one of the two that we have. And I knew that the people around here would have just gone ahead and... I knew the people of, um, I knew the people going to that 
Aldi would have just bought everything. So I went to the bigger Aldi. Koopy and I hopped in the car and we went to the bigger Aldi. And we had a great time that day, didn't we? It just mummy and Coops. I had a great time. We went to Aldi. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you a quick story. We were in Aldi and this lady approached me to hold her four month old while she got her baby carrier situated on her body. This little baby, his name was Hugo. He was bald as a badger, but he had the bluest, bluest eyes and he weighed, I swear, like a tissue box. He, <coughs> bless you. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. fuzzy vibes because hopefully we'll be starting a new round of IVF soon and you are going to get a brother or a sister. Wow! Amazing! I was holding this little baby while she was getting her baby carrier on. Cooper was fine, he was watching me, he wasn't jealous at all. Uh, and I just saw this tiny little baby and I just thought, oh my gosh, Cooper, you used to be this little. This kid, this little Hugo, was at four months old uh, and literally, like the weight of a tissue box, he was so light. Cooper, ten months old, very heavy. <laughs> He's over ten kilos. That's okay, that's good. He's growing. He's supposed to do that. Anyway, I've gone off on another tangent again. What we're here to do is have a look at my haul from Aldi. Now, I only got a few wonder suits because they had lots of uh, smaller sizes, but small sizes are no good to me because Cooper is in a size of one at the moment. So I wanted to get size one and up. And most of the patterns were, they were just pretty much all the same, basically. I got the best ones that I could. There were some really pinky ones there, but I don't, they were really, really pinky, like way too pinky for that guy. Like I said before, I don't mind putting him in pink, but when it really looks like a girl's wonder suit, that doesn't suit his personality at all. So anywho, and I also got some books. They Aldi have some good books. <gasps> They've got some good books, Aldi. Yeah, so that's what I got. Now I've got the recipe, but I don't have an Aldi bag. I've just got my own bag. So I'm not even gonna show you the bag. Got it! Look how tiny that recipe is. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven items on it. Seven. And look how tiny it is. $73.93 is what I paid for seven items. So that's what, 10 bucks an item. That's not bad if you round it out. Okay. It says, thank you for shopping at Aldi. Oh, you're welcome. You guys have good specials sometimes, so I've got no problem shopping there. So anyway, we're going to start with these wonder suits. Like I said, I got four. And they were $13.99 each, that's $13.99. Oh, you love plastic. You just watch mummy. Here's the first one. This is a zippy wonder suit and it is 18 to 24 months, so that's size two. So as you can see, we'll take it out of its plastic. ASMR, ASMR. Look at that. These are platypus. I hope you can see that really nicely. I'm still new to YouTube and so I'm still figuring out camera angles and stuff. So please be gentle. But how cute is that? Platypus print, blue background. 
You know the best thing about Wonder Suits in a plastic bag? No need to chop off the tags. That's great because fish bones are the bane of my existence. If you don't know what a fish bone is, I'll put a picture in. They just get everywhere. They get stuck in the carpet, in the mat. No. Next. This is a size one, so 12 to 18 months. So this is the size that Coop is in right now. Again, in a plastic bag. Bonds, wonder suits. And you know, as soon as I saw the camouflage, I like dived on that. I'm like, I gotta get this in his size or a bigger size because this child needs to wear this print. He's a mummy silly. Isn't she the silliest? Look at that. Wow. Wow wee. So cute. I love I don't know who designs the prints at Bonds, but Chef's Kiss, you've done well. as a button. Next. Okay. This is also in a size one and is size 12 to 18 months. And it's in its bag again. Bonds Wonder Suit. It's platypus. This time it's got a white background. suits not sponsored but I wouldn't say no wow awesome great print all $13.99 this is our last one size 1 12 to 18 months bond sippy wonder suit low still in its plastiki we're gonna rip it rippy 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 Do you love it? Do you love it? Mummy loves it. I think mummy loves it too much. Here we go. This one kind of looks like jungle and tiger. Is a jungle and a tiger? What does a tiger do? That's what a tiger does. Roar! Really cute. I can see Cooper rocking this. To be perfectly honest, Cooper's going to rock everything he wears because he's a rockin' baby. So that's four. Four of the Wonder Suits for $39.99. And then my jaw literally, well not literally, figuratively, hit the floor. These are I, I got three, five ninety nine each they were. Um, they find spot books. So everyone knows and loves Spot. Cute little doggy character of kids' bookies. And um, if you're not familiar, or let me familiarise you, they are... Huh. Don't mind me, I'm just on Struggle Street. Oh, okay, here we go. These are so new that I couldn't find the, the lift the flap part. They're like lift, I'm oh sorry, lift the flap books. Yeah. What's the matter? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you get the idea. So this one is called Find Spot at the Library. You want to go to the library? So that's that one. Obviously, I'm going to take the stickers, the price off. Oh my gosh! Aldi price $5.99, recommended retail price of $14.99. So this one is called Find. This one is called Find Spot at Sporty Day. Wow! That's that one. Oh, there we go. I'm really sorry about the reflection. 
$5.99, recommended retail price of $14.99. Find spot at the hospital. Again, I'm sorry about the reflection or the angle. So there you go. I'm probably going to put those books away for Cooper's birthday or Christmas. I see these good deals as I go around shopping and I just buy them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items for a total of $73.93 at Aldi. Thanks, Aldi!